Here's a Precision 6262 that I converted over to a GTX 3582R dual ball bearing. This one I did like the Genuine Garrett GT35R cartridge, which means I did have to machine the exhaust housing for this to work. Normally these turbos come with like a GT37R style cartridge where you don't have to machine the exhaust housing for that, but it does take a special turbine wheel or a special cage to accept a journal bearing turbine wheel. For this turbo, I built a brand new cartridge and for the turbine wheel, it's 62.35 by 68 millimeter. That's the GT35R turbine. And then it has the GTX 35A2R compressor wheel, which is 62.45 by 82 by 90. The GTX 35A2R is rated up to 700 horsepower, but with this turbine housing size, it will most likely restrict it down to about 600 horsepower at the most. So this turbo does have a lot of capability, and if you change out the turbine housing to a much larger one, including the .82 or 1.06, that opens up a lot more capability of additional horsepower. I did a previous video about a 6266 where I converted that over to a GTX 35A2R compressor wheel just to repair it. So this is another option to rebuilding your precision turbo without having to buy another compressor wheel or if you need a compressor wheel you kind of can't get a replacement for that very easily. But this is just another option for you if you have a broken 6262 and you just want to go back journal bearing. Because if you notice the other one, the other version I did in a ball bearing version. But this one is the journal bearing option. So this one's a little bit cheaper to build. But if you want to do the ball bearing option, we can probably still build that for less than what you can buy a new cartridge from Precision for the journal bearing unit. To make the journal bearing version, I have to have a special 2mm super back plate, which is kind of rare. So I haven't been able to build very many of these in journal bearing form, but I'm trying to have that plate remade and so that I can build a lot more. That plate was commonly found on the 6176 and other versions of the turbo that Precision had that had a GT35R compressor wheel. This plate allows you to run ball bearing compressor wheels with the TO4E compressor housing. Precision eventually switched over to the 5mm super back height uh, wheels and plates, which is the original plate that comes from Garrett Turbos from the factory. And so they kind of just discontinued the 2mm plates. I'm currently in the process of having these 2mm super back plates remade so that we can do the GTX 35A2R compressor wheel with a journal bearing form as a repair for the 6262s. The precision turbos are also able to be fixed by converting it over to a GT37R using these parts shown. However, if I had the 2mm super back plates, then I could use the original compressor housing as shown here. The 2mm super back plate that goes on the TO4E journal bearing also goes on the GT37R journal bearing. However, it won't fit onto the GT35R journal bearing because the bearing housing difference. Well, that concludes this video. Uh, the best upgrade you can do is the GTX 35A2R with the Garrett ball bearing center cartridge because it's going to spool up a lot faster. They spin a lot easier. But uh, I do have some other crazy stuff that I want to show you guys, but I'm going to have to leave that for another video.